Hello, welcome back. This one's gonna be a real short one. I'm still wearing the same clothes as the last video, <laughs> since it's the same day. Uh, so in the previous video, I talked about uh, implementing a class with properties. And kind of unrelated to that actual video, we implemented a class that had a wrapper. And as part of the wrapper, I used a little expression that was type of self dot double under name. And Albert in my Discord chat asked, why did you use type self dot double under name instead of just uh, self dot class double under class dot double under name? And that's a good question. So we're gonna jump into that and explain my reason for it. Uh, it doesn't ends up not really mattering all that much, but I'll show you where it can be different. Okay, so this is the class from before. I haven't changed anything. Uh, the important parts here are we're gonna be looking at this double under wrapper and showing the two different ways to implement this. So this is what we had before. Uh, we're right, Python 3.8 is what we need. This is what we had before, where if you make a location, uh, this comes from the wrapper. In fact, if we, you know, make a location and manually call wrapper, not that you would ever do this, you would, uh, use the wrapper built-in function to do that for you. But yeah, this is, this is currently working and doing that. Uh, the suggestion and the, the question, I guess, was... Why would you do this when you could do this? Oops. Assuming that I don't typo the word class. There we go. And if we run this, you'll notice that it still works. Just the same as before. Uh, and so, so the answer is these are basically equivalent in all normal cases. There are some abnormal cases where this can give you the wrong value. Now, I would I would argue that any of those cases where it gives you the wrong value, there's a bug somewhere else in the code, uh, and like you shouldn't be doing the things that would cause double under class to, you know, give you the wrong value. Or they're like super special classes that like you know, a, a mock is one example where it like has to pretend that it's a different type of class, um, and so you might end up in that case there. But let me give you one small example where this happens. If we make ourselves a class. Uh, named C. C can actually define a property that uh, <laughs> exposes this double under class value. Because this is an instance attribute, uh, you have a little bit more freedom on what you can do at runtime. So you can come in here and define double under class and suddenly return, you know, a, a class that's not your actual class, let's say like integer. And then if we were to look at uh, an instance of C's dot double under class. Man, I really, really want to type that with only one S. Uh, you'll see that it reports int. However, if we call type on that, we'll get the actual type of that class. Um, I'm pretty sure what happened was a long time ago, somebody explained this difference to me and uh, I've just internalized it and don't really think about it every time I type it, but that seems to be the reason why I do this. Now, there is another reason why you wouldn't want to do this if you're still stuck in Python 2, which if you're stuck in Python 2, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you poor soul. Uh, in Python 2, there are two types of classes. Um, this is a old style class. It does not inherit from object. And this is a new style class, which inherits from object. In Python 3, they got rid of this nonsense because, you know, why should you have to know the difference between these two? Um, and if you make an instance of old and an instance of new, uh, type of new dot name will give you new, but type of old dot dumbletter name will give you instance, which is somewhat nonsense. But this is because old style classes don't participate in the same um, type based inheritance that new style classes do. You'll, you know, when, you, when you ask the type of an old style class, it will always give you type instance. And so if you're you know, stuck in Python 2 and you have to deal with old style classes, you should probably prefer this. Uh, but I, I think in Python 3 and any modern code, I would prefer this. Unless you're trying to figure out whether a class is spoofing. And then, of course, you have to go through that. But anyway, hopefully this uh, short little video kind of explained that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, what is this going to be, an intermediate video? Who knows? Uh, it's just kind of like a little explainer. But yeah, anyway, uh, 
hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have other stuff that you want to know about, you can ask questions either in chat or, you know, Discord or Twitch stream or wherever you want to ask questions. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, and hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys around for the next one.